Hi, you guys, and happy Monday to you guys. This is Prophetess Afil Sabrina Acapo. Wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So you guys, the title of this prophetic word is the Lord allow some things to get you to move to run your course. The Lord allowed some things to get you to move to run your course. And so you guys, I was actually in the bathroom, you guys, getting ready. And I couldn't be still because the Lord was speaking. The Holy Spirit was really speaking. I mean, and a whole lot. And I pray that this word permeates, absorbs, flows, and saturating your spirit as it has never done before because there is plenty of revelation and understanding with this one. And let me jump off into it. And the song that gave me the inspiration as well and confirmed the second confirmation is going to be the song that's named Last Say So by Kim Brotherford. And it's He allows some things to run their course. I don't know the rest of it, but this is Kim Rutherford, the last say so. Definitely check that out once you get a chance. It's a nice song. Holy Spirit wants you to know he is the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is in control. Our driver, GPS, navigation system, road guide, road map instructions, directions, turn left, turn right, and blueprint in every single aspect and area of our lives. He is going to do what he says. He is faithful to perform it. Holy Spirit gave me a scripture. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 24. Faithful and absolutely trustworthy is he who is calling you to himself for your salvation. And he will do. He will do it. He will fulfill his call by making you holy, guarding you, watching over you, and protecting you as his own. What he has promised, purposed, and destined for you is unstoppable. What was predestined for your life will be. It is unbreakable. He will never allow excuse that. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Cast all your burdens cares weights situations problems circumstances cares burden he is the burden bearer and the heavy loader And he gave me a scripture in relation to that of 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. So know that you are never alone and you are not your own, but you are his written epistle, read a many. Your life has already been written out. 
Holy Spirit is saying, walk it out because he has more for you to do that you are not finished. There is more in store for you. Keep running the race with endurance. He gave me a scripture of Hebrews 12 and 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily traps us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. It's his righteous right hands, which is that power that is thrusting and pushing you in forward momentum. He has not given up on you, so don't give up on him. Even when we didn't have a clue of who was holding us up all alone, when we were moving without prayer and moving, and so we thought what was freedom. It was the Lord all along carrying you. It was the son that set you free. It was the son who did not allow the enemy to touch you. And it was the son that protected and shielded you. And he still is. It was the prayers of your mothers and your grandmothers that kept you. Holy Spirit is saying, Keep the faith. Keep moving. And Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith, it is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that you cannot see. Holy Spirit is saying, keep moving. He has you. And he will not turn you loose. And he will not allow you to go astray or go the wrong way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He keeps who wants to be kept. And you were kept by his grace. See from that lens your discernment deep within you and not allow your feelings or your emotions to dictate where God is taking you. God handles weights and cares. Holy Spirit is saying, He's right there waiting, anticipating for you to call him in. Allow him in. No report can overturn the report of the Lord. So believe the report of the Lord and who he says that you are. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. And this is Psalms 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. And he also gave me Isaiah 59 and 19. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord lifts up a standard against him. Holy Spirit is saying, be just like David, a man after God's own heart. Because the Lord looks at your heart posture. He longs for you to come to him with the right heart posture. The Lord has already given you the blessing. You already have the victory. And the Holy Spirit already knew in advance that you had it. That's why he chose you. He knew that you were a forerunner. Standing on the front line. Light shining of his handcrafted design. He has the last say so. I'm going to say that again. He has the last say so. Holy Spirit is saying he is faithful to perform it. And if he goes to take you. He will take you unto himself that where he is, ye may be also. And that's John 14 and 2. In my father's house are many mansions, dwelling places. Holy Spirit is allowing things to get you out of comfort and get you into purpose. Continue because the doctor has ordered a great report for you and it's moving you fast forward so stay the course and he said again 
the Holy Spirit is saying, he has the last say so. He dictates and determines when you go, how you go, when you go, and where you're going to go as far as your life is concerned. The Lord allowed some things to get you to move, to run your course, to run the race with endurance that is set before thee. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that notify bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. Welcome to the fam. I pray that you were able to definitely feel the all of the anointing and definitely feel the fire on this word. And this word went into a deeper revelation and a deeper understanding and deeper scriptures. Even deeper song. So this word can permeate, absorb, flow, and saturate into your spirit because the Lord is wanting you to continue on and the Lord is wanting you to know that he has you in the palm of his hands, that you are in his righteous right hands. You are seated in heavenly places at the right hand of the Father and that he longs for you to call him in. He longs for that visitation. He longs for that encounter. He longs for you to cast every care, every burden, every situation, every circumstance, every problem, every weight, every burden. Any problem or circumstance or situation that you're going through. He longs for you to have that intimate conversation, that personal relationship with him. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother and he will never leave you nor forsake you. When you think he's not there, he's right there. Long for you to just pour it out to him. Because he's pouring his oil on you. And it's falling on you. And it's catapulting you. To see you through it. To see you through to greatness. The Lord allowed some things to get you to move. To run your course. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And got a friend tell a friend because it's all about winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. It could be one word that could be said that could change the entire trajectory of someone's life. You never know what a person is going through. And so I definitely stress that because it's very significant. And this is what God has wanted us to do. Spread the good news. I love each and every one of you guys. Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because they really help. And I do truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for the ones that sow into this ministry. Thank you for the ones that subscribe to this channel. Thank you for the ones that continuously keeps coming back. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Once again, I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best knowing that it was him that allow it was the Lord that allowed some things to get you to move to run your course he's not going to allow you to be stagnant the Lord says no longer will you be stagnated but I got to thrust you forward I got to get you uncomfortable to get you to the next dimension so you can go higher at higher altitudes Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care and we will talk on the next. May the Lord once again richly bless each and every one of you to the greatness of success of God's best. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.